Hi, Jeremy Morgan here. Uh, for this video, I'm sitting in a dorm at the fire station. I've got a mattress behind me and an HVAC going. And basically what my point is, is you don't always have a great recording studio to work with, and you don't need a super expensive recording studio if you can apply a few tricks. And what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to remove background noise with Reaper, how to remove things like air conditioning, um, buzzing cars driving by, things like that. And it's pretty easy, uh, it takes just seconds to do, we're gonna use a free plugin that comes with Reaper. And so let's get started. Okay, so I've recorded a file reading off some text and it has a lot of background noise in it. Here's what the raw file sounds like before we change it. People were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple pages for Fable fans at LibriVox. Thankful that this was Thursday the 30th, the Piper anticipated forum fun and a wonderful weekend of recording. This is a test by Jeremy. Had it been an actual LibriVox contribution, it would have been public domain text, previously published and probably interesting. As you can hear, we have some background noises, especially in the pauses between speech. So let's load it into Reaper. As you can see, I've recorded about 10 seconds of empty noise. You always want to do this with any narration. It gives you a good profile to start out with for noise reduction. Since we're only working with one track here, we'll click on the FX button on the master track. Under FX, look for Kakos. Here we want to select Refer. It's a VST plugin that comes with Reaper. Okay, now we have Refer loaded up, and here we will click Mode and select Subtract. What we want to do here is build a noise profile. This tells the plugin what to subtract from the audio, so we'll put a check in the box that says Automatically Build Noise Profile. Now the plugin is ready to read what you think is noise. Go to the start of the track and play a few seconds. Make sure and stop it before your voice starts. What you see on the screen here is background noise. This is what you'll want to subtract. Now take the check out of the box. This is our noise profile and what will be eliminated from the sound. And now you can play the sound. If you like what you hear, you're done. You can now render the file. Here's what it sounds like after we remove the noise. People were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple pages for Fable fans at LibriVox. Thankful that this was Thursday the 30th, the Piper anticipated forum fun and a wonderful weekend of recording. This is a test by Jeremy. Had it been an actual LibriVox contribution, it would have been public domain text, previously published and probably interesting. Another way we can do this is by using a noise gate. Go back into effects and load up something called Regate. This is another built-in plugin. Here you can listen in real time, and the best thing to do is play the audio, and during your 10 seconds of no speech, increase the gate until you don't hear the background noise any longer. And that's all there is to it. There are some other settings here that you might have to adjust and play with, but for the most part, this is a pretty straightforward plugin. Here's what that sounds like once it's rendered. People were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple pages for Fable fans at LibriVox. Thankful that this was Thursday the 30th, the Piper anticipated forum fun and a wonderful weekend of recording. This is a test by Jeremy. Had it been an actual LibriVox contribution, it would have been public domain text, previously published and probably interesting. You can use each or both of these plugins to easily remove background noise. Keep in mind that you're subtracting this noise from your overall audio, so any frequencies that are within the range of your voice will sound different. Sometimes you'll have to adjust the amount of noise reduction because it'll change your voice and it usually doesn't sound that great. If you have some feedback for this tutorial, leave me a comment. If you want to see more of my audio and programming tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube page.